Hello. Goodbye. Wait, no. We're done. That's it. <laughs> Cut. Shortest video ever. I know this is a sideboardy card. In Decide. Like... Hmm. Not gonna, not gonna tolerate this. You just know, real quick. Well, how about how come all of the other nicknames are okay? We're looking to see if their side is worth anything. One point nine tickets. That's one, not. That's a not zero. One ticket. Buying one point five tickets. I don't know if that's. worth That's it. not worth first picking unless there's nothing else good in the back. I mean, there's this and this. In and, fairness, and you know, that's actually a pretty awful pack. I War like this. Warwing Siren is probably the best card in the pack. I'd be inclined or to... Or Hubris. Group. Hubris might be the best card in the pack. Hubris or Warwing. I got in a big argument about it with somewhere that this was better than Voyage's End or not. It was me on a video, wasn't it? No, it was a guy in the shop. Oh, okay. There was a small argument on the video. About it yeah, it and we decided it was situational, depending on the deck. We need to make a decision pretty soon. I have a Warwing Siren. I would vote Hubris. Let's flip a coin. Oh, Warwing Siren wins. Damn it, Dennis. Damn it all to hell. Cool, Arrow of Need, that's nuts. Turn things into sync. Oh, that's a really good card. I want one. Just because it's hilarious. It's a lot of fun. This what would be good. What else we got? Leonin and Kandendinim. <clears throat> Nailed it. Yep. Um, I like this as well. I like more Lobsman Sea. Pin to the Earth is actually pretty good. But I think Arrow of Need is just the pink, right? Oh yeah, it's more fun. And it's actually pretty good. Yeah. You get to target your Warwing Siren. Gets a plus one because of counter. And then Combo! it immediately vanishes. <laughs> it's it also... Becomes at uh, the same size Sphinx. It also becomes kind of cr it's kind of crummy removal. If you can strive it, you're like now we both have a siren. Sphinx. Sphinx. Sorry. Now we're both have a sphinx, and I guess if we're going heroic, Do we just not take a temple. I don't think the temple of Epiphany is worth anything. Really, but it's blue red, which is the best color combination. Why do you mock me so? <laughs> um, I love that color combination. Oh, 2.2 .2 ticks. And also, temples are good. And they're selling, so it's probably buying for like two. But yeah, see? Temple of Malady, eight and a half. Because green, black. Yeah. But if we're taking the best card in the pack, it's probably this. Whoo. <clears throat> you could be right. Like, even if we're going heroic, I still think... Oh, no, if we're going heroic, it's probably this. Mm, also good. I don't know if we're going heroic. We've taken a, a Warring Siren and an Arrow. Maybe. Well, the objective best card in the pack is Supply Line Cranes, I think. 5 mana 3, 5 flyer. Yeah, that's really good. Or 5 mana 2, 4 flyer. Fine, in fact. Yeah. And another thing gets bigger. Okay. This guy was underwhelming. Remember him? <laughs> yeah, I, we, we did some work with him at one stage. Nah, I feel like zero power is really not very much. You just said power in the... Pa! In the Dark zero City Sway. Pa. I, I was going with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I oh, know, it's um, <laughs> unlimited power. I know the quote, but you yeah. said it like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wow! Um, Armory of Iros. I know it's not that. Um, more lobster. I say okay. Eros. I say Eroa. I think that sounds weird. I it feels like weird. you haven't finished. <laughs> Eroa. <laughs> Eroa. What do you think about your information? I try not to. Well, single blue plus one plus one is actually fine. Flying... Notwithstanding, yeah, the flying is so annoying because it's a combat trick that you don't want to use as a combat trick. But you know, Magma Spray is probably the best guy in the pack. Uh, hmm? Blade Test War is fine, but I think it's better than Magma. Oh, maybe not. Put him in the arena, dude. Mm, <laughs> I guess. Also, no. That's a bad quick. Uh, go for the aerial formation because it's in color. Okay, because we are in blue. Cura's dismissal. That's a good card. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Just take Hubris though, right? Yeah, it's really better. But I think yours is, is really cool. <laughs> knowledge and fact. Remember that deck we did before? What is it? Knowledge and what? Bah! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the, de the scry deck we did before that didn't have knowledge and power? Yeah. 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 This is also really good. Flurry of Horns. Um, I need to think of a nickname for that. McFlurry of Horns. Got it. <laughs> have you? <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're done here. Cut the video. Roll the credits. <laughs> uh, there's a dismissal. Eidolon of, of the, the Great, Great Revel. Revel. We should stop saying things. Well, we were. That, this isn't so bad because we were both reading the same thing. Uh -huh. But when we just say it, it's kind of weird. Okay, we're not. We're not really in white, so maybe no, we can. I just... love the great Revel's cool, but it needs to be in a very specific deck, which this isn't. It needs to be in the white red heroic deck because it needs to be a deck where all of you these don't care about your your own life total. True. Also, all of these cost three or less. <laughs> yeah. Um, dismissal, or we could take the best card, which probably this or. Oh, this. Uh, did you see the thing on Reddit about P Pensive Minotaur's real flavor text? What? It's, look at Pensive Minotaur. That's not Pensive Minotaur at all. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, it just says, why leg? What is leg? What is leg? <laughs> Yours is missile, or I've taken the Ferris Man Thunderhoof now. Yeah, that's probably the best card. Green-blue is a really nice colour combo. Target of victory, I like. I like Weaver, though. Yeah, one mana, one ones that do things. Plus, it's an instant speed constellation, which we don't have any of, but, you know, good we, to keep in mind. We could take the fastest of our... That's not... Remember, uh, we meet, remember were you there when we played that? Yeah, 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 yeah. The monstrosity of a blue deck. Well, I shouldn't say monstrosity, that's a mechanic. The it's a disaster, disaster piece. Disaster piece of a blue deck. I'm going to take the Weaver here. Yeah, do it. Maybe we'll hedge on blue a little bit. Hey. There's mm. a dictate. A dictate. You emphasize that extremely poorly. <laughs> a dictate. Dictate of perfect. Yeah, I get it, but. That sounds like you're saying dictate. <laughs> That's how it's pronounced. It's right? dictate. You don't say the eight. You do, because otherwise it sounds like dictate. If, if it's a noun, it's a dictate. Mm. The verb is. I'm gonna to have to. Dictate. I'm gonna have to tag this video as explicit now. <laughs> it's either nature's monopoly. I think nature's monopoly is better than aerial formation. Uh, better than a second aerial formation. Yeah, take it. It's just a much better card. It does the same thing, but with a counter instead of flying. Uh, isn't the isn't the strive much? Oh, no, it's exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think another nature's monopoly or darker mystic because that card's cool. I think we take that card because it's cool. I don't want I don't want another nature's monopoly. We already have combat tricks. Let's take the darker mystic. Let's pull from the deep too. Oh yeah, that would have been good in our red blue deck. <laughs> yeah, it would have been really good. Uh, so we're looking for hero card, hero card, hero, hero cards, uh, or nothing. Take take what is like. No, it's, this is better. This is actually quite a good card. Okay, fine. It's not worth the what is leg joke. <laughs> I love pensive minotaur. He's like, I'm not I just ripped this guy's leg off, but am I happy about it? Maybe hedge on the hoplite, or or will we play the sentinel? We will play the sentinel. I think. Yeah, grab the sentinel. Then. Sure. Sweet, if we're willing to... Oh, hang on. This is just... I think Weaver's better. Really? This is... Fine. Rampant growth. For three mana? Sort of. It's got Elmer in it, I'm taking it. It allows us to splash, which I like doing. Hmm. How could you not take Knowledge and Power there? Was Knowledge and Power there? Yeah. Oh, because it's not a good card. Um, so are we... De like, White was pretty... It seemed pretty cut. There was one good white card we passed. You know this is this is literally Callblade. Call! <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how... I wonder if that was intentional. Yeah. Alright, let's... Let's see how this looks. Five creatures, which is normal. Then always sort of by rarity. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you need a curve of common into uncommon into rare. You know, the classic. Um, little, little skimpy on the old two drops. So we're looking for those. I mean, Renowned Weaver can function as a two-drop. I forgot we took Dacra Mystic. Dacra Mystic's sweet, dude. Yeah, I'm not complaining about it. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to consider every time. Yeah. Alright, Scourge is bad. Yep. Noble Quarry is good. Very good. Charging Badger is cool, but no, not it's good. Not. Uh, Sudden Storm is good. I like Quarry here. I don't know if we're in the deck for Quarry just yet. Sure we are, look. Oh yeah, we've got a card. That's pretty good. Okay, just throw it in. It's good when you're going wide. Nah. Because you go everything blocks this. No, I guess as a fault. Yeah, I get it, but it's great because you get to choose what to put it on. So what I've done a lot of the time, and hopefully we get one, is stuck it on a Sedge Scorpion. Because then it's just attack... Fault or everything, and you. I also I kill your two best guys. That's pretty good. Well, you put it on this, and it becomes a whatever six seven. Yes. I mean, it's probably going down, but so is everything else. Fair. I like this. It's got an elk in it. Let him. Is that a deer? Uh, I think that's actually a llama. I think you're a jackass. <laughs> Drink deep and know the path to the heart of the wilds. From Jack Wang. <laughs> <laughs> Flitter Step Eidolon is cool. Divination is cool. Snake's better than... Probably. Div's okay, but Snake... But I, snake, I, like snake. I think Snake is where we snake's want to be. Are, these are always in the same goddamn pack. <laughs> <laughs> um, such a decision. Some... Do, 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 what? Wasn't it? I was going to sing a different song, but then I sung the wrong... I sang? Oh, just call it a day on that sentence. Let's just move on. <laughs> 
Do, 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 do. I like Font of Fertility. I it think triggers a constellation. Taken but trig- we have already had one. Yeah, that doesn't mean a second one isn't good. Why is she weaving in the woods? Because she's about to turn into a spider. Well, you know. What's the... Arachne. Is it? Is that how you say it? Like, I know it's Arachne and therefore Arachnid, but like... Arachne, I believe is her name. She, um, yeah. she challenged Athena to a weaving contest mm-hmm. and won. And Athena got pissed and turned her into a spider. It's because her, um, if I remember correctly, her tapestry is of all the gods getting drunk and acting like idiots. And everyone thought it was funny, and that's why I think I was angry. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, mm, Fanatic, uh, I mean, we have a font. That's a pretty specific sequence, though, <laughs> to get but to. But the thing is, like, we said we can splash, and there's literally nothing in this pack for us except Sphinx's Disciple. Sure. Is this worth splashing for? I think so. Okay. Three mana, four, four? Yeah. Nah, it's not going to come down in turn three. I could, if we run up two mountains. Yeah. We can run two mountains in quite a little... I've quite oh, if only we had that Temple of Epiphany. That would have been great. Damn it, would we take over that? I... Bleh. 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 I don't know. No. I think it's a Reaver. No, it was earlier in the back than we were in that. We didn't know we were in God that. damn. Oh, that's actually Ooh. Okay. Oh, I mean, we could take Sphinxes, but I think Oracle's inside is cool. Take this, nah. It's really cool if you put one on the other. Yeah, I'm sure as we have zero four drops. Magic Online sort of hit that fact from oh, another quarry or a snake. I think snake. I think quarry. I think snake. Quarry's way better. I think snake. snake's just a five drop. Five drops are a bound. Not strictly in our deck, but a bound. However, this effect is extremely valuable. I've actually, you know what? I've never played with the card in the deck. Well, I know you have. Now you're gonna play with two of them because I've got the mouse. <laughs> the old mouse Vita. This sucks. Hey, Sword hey, hey, sure. Duh. This Those is are both really unbelievable good cards. Really good cards. And our first two drop. Happy days. Mm, I don't know if happy is the right word. Okay, this is not gone. We know Weaver's a pseudo two drop. Yeah. Okay. This has not gone super well. It's gone fine. Calm down. Pack three is the strong one for green anyway. I think. You get your asps. Your voyaging satyrs. Your Nylea's disciples. Your centaur coursers. Mm-hmm. We can pick up a Cure's follower in this pack. It's mm-hmm. not too late. Do we splash for a second one? If we're going to splash for one? Uh, Mortis was all... God! I thought what was off! It looked off. Maybe, well, it's, maybe it's not off to our left. It's off to our right. That's really annoying. Um, it's either, either, either we splash for a second one or we just take the mortals off. Probably a splash for the second one. If we're if in for a penny, in for a pound. The cost isn't actually really any higher. Oh! <laughs> I don't want to play this card. I do. It's such a headache. It's such a headache. It's so cool. Though, it's man. very good if you're ahead. Because then you can't be behind. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, it's not great in our deck, but it's not One, two... No, it's not... Uh, Let's grab it. These make it a lot worse, actually. Flood type? Um, no, definitely not. Definitely. Oh, no, we can bend snowball quarries and stuff. Ah, uh, five drop, though. Yeah. We don't know. need another one of those. Well, if we get an asp, we do. I don't want to play... This. Oh, sure. Div. I don't want to play this. We're also getting to the point where we will very likely just be able to cut these. Because we're at 19 playables coming into pack three. Yeah. But and we, they, you, you just were pointing at one of those playables and going, I don't want to play this. Yeah, but not because it's not good, but because it's annoying. It's going to give me a headache. I hate... The, it triggers every time they cast a spell. That's not the issue. It's like, if I give this to them, then they have it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like you say, you keep your board state with it. The best thing to do... With a card it. that's only quite good when you're ahead is... I mean, so are just other spells. Take Sphinxes. Yeah, I don't really want to... The best that, thing yeah. to do with it, I think... Is <laughs> yeah, planes. Mm-hmm. The best thing to do with that card is use it as a like a counter removal. Sure. So they go kill your thing that's locking up the game. I go, you go. Here's your. Here's this perplexing chimera. I now control the removing. Sp- God damn! I kill the perplexing chimera. Okay, so the asp, a nimbus naiad, a voyage's end, the time to feed. We want the nimbus naiad though, right? Incidentally. God. No, that, not, that doesn't mean white's open. We just opened that. I know. But and there's one good white card. There's two. This is great. 
I think it's better than Wingsuit Rider. I'm going to take this and then move on. <laughs> um, I think Shut Minus up, Nine is better than Ass. Yes, agreed. Okay, good. What's he complained here? Yeah. And I, let's just see. What? Do, why are you making those hand signals at me? How it looks without the fanatics. That is just making calming hand signals at let's me. Just I was sitting in silence. <laughs> and you were I didn't, like, please. <laughs> <laughs> So if we do that, we need to pick up five cards in this pack. Okay. I hate splashing. I hate it. I think it's not as bad as hey, you. That's hey, that's a card. That's gra no, grab it. That's really good. Yeah. That's a great card. I don't know if we need the gold force symbol. But just take it, man. Oh, yeah. It's good fun. Um, Fortune Hunter's fine. Oh, Seder. We want the Seder more than these because we have a lot of six drops. Yep, 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 yep. And five drops. Yeah, these aren't strictly six drops, but they're kind of miserable to just play. Jeez, dude. Isn't, grip -tied. That, isn't that worth quite a bit now because everybody played a million of them? In Well, Block Constructed isn't a thing. But that's about to be standard. That's true. It's a good win con for control decks. So I would have liked this as this and this as well. I would have liked both of those, but Sphinx, man. This is great. You know, it's better than Get yeah, Out. Yeah. Stanchard Warrior. Chimera. Nah, we want, a, we want a four drop, right? It's just, that's just the one. Yeah, like... Okay. We've got a fair few targeting effects. That's actually going to be pretty have good. Have we? Yeah. This targets, these target, this targets, this targets. Hubris technically targets. Mm. So does this. And Arrow of Need. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I meant to point to Arrow of Need, I don't know what it is. What's the art on this? It's a Sphinx. What's in the background? Oh, it's another, another Sphinx. Sphinx. Right. Several Sphinxes. At least a minimum of two Sphinxes, which means you can't cast it for just two of the blue, which sucks. Those are the rules, right? Hey! Perfect! Uh, yeah. I love this card. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love it. I love it. I'm happy for you. 22. This is actually, the, the curve doesn't really, let's see if it looks better when we falsely put in an instance. Yeah. Oh. Look. Uh, sure. It's fine. We don't want that. Put that in the sideboard. It becomes fine. 23. I hate, I hate that card. Why? I hate that card. You play Blade of Sports based exactly the same. <clears throat> yeah. Get it out of there right now. Just for that. Just for that. Is there anything we want to put instead of it? I think we can run the fanatics. I don't want to. Yeah, I do. Um, why? I hate splashing. Well, it's if you're not going to run it, cut the font. Well, the font's fine. It's just a ramp spell. And it's a fine one. It's a waste. Oh, we'll just take this. Better than this, right? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What? There's oh, God. 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 <laughs> I wasn't looking that at That was so close, we almost missed it. I wasn't looking at the gold card. Alright, that's probably better than the hip card. I mean, they're both just three twos with flash. This one has flying and life gain, but you know, whatever. And trample. What? What? I completely I never knew that. It has trample. Why? It doesn't look like it has trample, does it? No, it looks especially fragile, in yeah. fact. <laughs> but that thing it? just comes barreling along, smashes through a, I don't know, spirit token. This is way too many abilities. Why does it have the life gain? That's probably my favorite ability on it. It's super nice. Yeah. Why does it have all of those things, Ashin? Why? Tell me. No. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, does it have a car? Is that, yeah. our, is that our musical song of the week? <laughs> <laughs> musical song. Oh, God. Oh, did anybody win our competition? Yes, someone did, and I sent them the cards. Do we have a name? I've forgotten it. It's on my Twitter feed, though, because I took a picture of it. I think it's... Oh, is he right here? He's in my buddy list. I think it's Adevna. Or Ad, yeah, there we go. This guy. Adevna. Congratulations, Adevna. You won some stuff. Well done for naming Dr. Horrible Singalong blog. Mm -hmm. People are going to name it something. When I'm not giving you this this draft. No. Well, hang on. Is this worth anything? Um, you don't know. That's the worst card in the world. It's better than the other ones in the pack, so I'll disagree with you on that one. Hey! We can run it. Look, we don't need the fanatics. Our curve's a little bit of a mess. Okay. All right. All right. But we got a one drop. Sweet. Yeah. I'm just going to check if that Sphinx is worth now. Because I, I assume you went up. Because people do realize that that's, that block is constructed is basically about to be standard. Yeah. Nope. All right. Oh. Burnish Shard's cool. Do we run it? We're quite high on the curve, aren't we? Yeah. Over what? Um. Gonna be honest, potentially the dark realistic. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, is it better than? Is it just better than? Fun? I don't really like Nature's Panoply in this deck. We need hero targets. Why? We have one hero. We have three. 
two heroes? Oh, this thing. I got that in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Where is our knowledge and power? Look! We didn't take it. I know. We're in blue-green. Well, you know. We hate splashing. Well, you know. All right. So not, this actually looks okay. Yeah, Burnish Heart's really good. It's, I don't know, you have to invest two turns in it. I know it ramps you from, like, four to six. Yeah. Usually. Really good. But. Helps us get monstrous on that big thing. This thing? Yeah. Gets us to a Do we need this? No. I don't like that card. It's super fragile. Alright, cool. <laughs> if we had, what's the card called? The Hexproof Dude? I'd totally run the Oracle's inside just because I think that's cool. I'd do it if we had Kiora's Follower. Oh, I've done, oh, that. I've done that before. I'd, oh, oh! I, I think I did that at the PTQ. Put a Kiora's, put put the Oracle's Insight on a Sphinx's Disciple with a Kiora's Follower in play. That's pretty good. The worst thing I ever did to anybody was I put it on a, I put a Kiora's Follower and Sphinx's Disciple in play, and I cast Attraction Helix on the Disciple, tapped it, bounced a thing, untapped it, drew a card, tapped it, bounced a thing, and then when it untapped, drew a card again. Yeah, it was pretty great. Whew. Spoiler alert: I won that game. Um, that was one of the games I won. All of them except for one. <sighs> See you in round one, kids. Bye! Bye!